Hey, what's up, puzzle lovers, and welcome back. There are two types of people: those who love dogs and those who love cats. Which one are you? Fight! Apparently, Australian designer Junichi Yananose, also known as Juno, is a cat lover. He designed a puzzle called Mitan, named after his beloved ginger cat. And it looks like this. It reminds me of the lucky cat symbol, or Manuki Neko in Japanese, which is a waving cat that is supposed to bring luck to your home, office, or business. The Mitan puzzle is a sequential discovery puzzle. The goal is to put a bell on the cat. As usual, with Juno's puzzles, we can expect multiple tools and fun steps along the way. This puzzle was a limited edition puzzle, and I am very lucky to have the opportunity to solve it thanks to the Mechanical Puzzle Discord community. I cannot wait to start solving this puzzle. So, without further ado, let's get started. And here it is, the Mitan puzzle by Junichi Yananose. Look at this puzzle. It is really so well made. I am so amazed by the craftsmanship of this puzzle. Juno is such a genius. Look at the amount of details on this puzzle. You have different colors for the ears, you have different colors for the eyes, but also for the box in general. It's just so smooth and you can see the mouth, the nose, the ears, the eyes and the little moustache in French. I don't know how you call that uh, in English, unfortunately, sorry for that. But wow, what a wonderful puzzle. Obviously, what you can see is the face of a cat and not any cat the ginger cat of Juno, called Mitan. And then you can see the other side of the box, with only this part here, which I guess is the final compartment to open and to find our final prize. Maybe it is the bell that we need to put on the cat. And that's all I can say about this puzzle without giving too much clues, because obviously you can see that you can interact with the ears, you can see they go straight into the box and they are moving. So I'm pretty sure other parts of a cat can move and without further ado, let's start solving this puzzle. Then let's find out what we can interact with. So we saw that we can move the ears, then we can push on the eyes. They react like buttons, but we cannot push further. And then I wonder if we can move the nose. Yes, we can rotate it. Can we pull it? Oh, a bit. It's spring loaded. So we can move the nose like this. And I guess we might be able to move something else. And here, this is not a button, so we cannot remove it yet. So the nose. Let's rotate the nose. Oh, we can see that this, oh, this two moved. So if I turn the nose, this ear is locked. And this one, we can push it down. Okay, that's cool. And now, now the nose is locked. So, we can push on this Right eye! Oh, okay, wow, wait. Is it spring loaded? I can see a magnet. Oh, two magnets. Okay, so let's push that. Can I remove the ear with the eye? <laughs> Look! Oh, it's locked! Okay. But we can see a bit more. You see, that's one of the magnets that I was talking about. You can kind of see the piece coming out. And then you can see some cuts in the wood. So what if I turn the nose? 
Oh, right. So you can turn the nose on the other side now. And this ear is locked. So can I interact with this one? Yes. Oh, look, you can pull this one. But again, it is locked. Can I push this eye? No, I can't. So we pull this one and now maybe I need to rotate the nose on the other side even further. It's like a maze inside this box and you need to find your way out like this. <laughs> so I'm sorry Mitan, but we removed your left ear. I hope you will forgive me for that. You see the cut? So I think you have two little mazes between the two ears and we managed to remove one of them. Or oh, maybe now we can see the inside of the box. Pretty cool, you can see some pins. This first one and the second one. Oh, that is attached to the nose. Oh, and you can pull the nose now. Like this. So cool. Okay, wait. Can I remove? Yes. The left eye of the cat. Poor cat. <laughs> Sorry, I will find you a vet later. I promise you will look better, brand new, once we finish solving you. So this ear is still stuck. But now that we removed one ear and one eye, maybe we can do a bit more. I wonder what's the point of pulling the nose. Oh, but look, there is something else here. You have a little hole where you can put a tool inside. Okay, so if we turn the nose to the right like this, the ear will go up and we can see something inside the ear. It's like a button with a magnet. So we need a tool. We need a stick with a magnet. So maybe we can remove the lock and remove the ear. Wait, can, can I remove that? Because that would be a nice stick. Maybe if I pull you. Oh, yes, yes. It comes out. Need to be careful. It's not my puzzle. And I don't want to damage it. That would be terrible. Can I pull him? Oh, okay, yes. I think I can pull it, but uh, this wooden piece that is connected to the nose is blocking it. Maybe like this. Yes, okay, I just needed to twist this wooden piece and now I can remove it. And there is a magnet on the other side. Look, <laughs> that's so good. So we have our first tool, I guess. And I guess we just need to put this like this, yes. And slowly pull out. No, it didn't work. Wait, I wonder if I need to remove the eye at the same time. Where was it? Like this, okay, like this, and pull the eye, and like this. Maybe if I tilt the puzzle like this, the gravity will help me to remove the lock. How? It doesn't come. What should I do? Please. Oh. Later. 
Yes! Wow! That was hard! And now we can remove the other ear. And that's the little piece I was talking about. That's the lock. And it works like this. Oh, you see? So this was locked inside the eye. That's why I should not push the eye inside the ear because otherwise it will have been stuck forever. They are truly beautiful pieces, look. I love the choice of the color. Wow, it does look amazing to be honest. And the puzzle is so fun so far. I hope you enjoy it as well. Truly, truly one of the funniest puzzles I solved so far. So we can still pull, oh. Okay, so we can pull the nose like this now because you could see the white stick was locked by the puzzle box but also by the ear here. So now I can pull it and continue to rotate the nose and I cannot push it so maybe that would be useful for later. Maybe that's one of the lock to remove this compartment. Now, I believe we can remove the eye. Yes, we can truly mess with our ginger cat face. That's quite sad to see. Poor Katty. Okay, so we removed everything. Oh no, wait. Oh, we can go further now. But the eye is not there. Look, I can still pull the nose, rotate, and there is a little hole where the pin can fit perfectly inside, like this. Oh, we can push. Yeah, we can push. There is a spring-loaded part beneath this. Interesting, and we have a little screw. Usually screw can be quite interesting in puzzles because if you put a magnet, you might activate something. By the way, I wonder, can I use the magnet here? Yes, I can feel that this part repels my magnet. So there is a strong magnet here. So I need another magnet. Can I use the one Yeah, I can, but it's not strong enough. I wonder if there is another magnet hidden somewhere. Wait, we saw that at the beginning, the eyes were repulsed by, oh, by this one here. You see that's how it works. The eye is repulsed by the ear and that's why you think it's spring-loaded but it is not. That's so smart! That's so smart! Really cool! So I wonder, I mean we have this one but it's quite heavy. Like there is a magnet inside. <laughs> That's smart to hide a magnet inside. And it's quite a strong one, look. I can just remove a piece. And look at this piece. Okay, so that looks like a hook to use for something else. Because I can see a hole in this compartment. So I can probably grab it and pull it out. No, I can't. The nose. If I push, not really, kind of, it does something, I might have another idea, so remember that I said it was strange to have a screw here, and that sometimes screws react very well with mechanisms. So obviously, this magnetic ear is attracted by the screw 
and now I am missing something here. I cannot open the compartment. So what can I do? Ryan, listen. <laughs> I can press something here. And I can slightly open the compartment. So maybe that's the first step. I can remove the pin, rotate the nose, and use the magnet inside this ear to do something with a screw. And yes, and finally open the compartment. What's happening? Wait, it's locked. Okay. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so cool! Wait! So, that looks like a bell, so I can put a bell to my ginger cat! So, puzzle solved! Because also we can see the signature of Juno. That means this is the last piece that we needed to find. And we have a little magnet here, we will see that later, but we have a little present. Oh, that's a little fish. So cute. It's food for the cat. You deserve it, really, truly, for everything I have done to you. I think that's my apologize. And I hope you will enjoy your meal. <laughs> that's such a fun puzzle. So, wait, we have a bear. Like this, I guess. It would be better to look a bit more like a bear. Wow. Such a nice puzzle. Oh, what's that? So you have a spring-loaded pin. I guess that's what we could push with the nose. So we will rotate the nose, put the white pin inside the hole like this and then we could press on something. I believe this was for the pin. Oh, I can kind of see something. There is a piece of wood. I don't know if you will see it, but there is a dark piece of wood. And I think the nose push this piece and this piece push this little spring loaded pin. Oh, and you have kind of a little maze. At the end. That's why I was struggling to remove it and I needed to rotate the part to remove it. A little tricky end, but you cannot notice. That's so nice and I think that's the part that was locked, yes. Inside the box you have a little hole and I guess that was attracted to the screw and the only way to remove this lock was to use the ear to repulse the lock. Such a clever mechanism. I think not so hard, not such a very challenging puzzle, but so much fun. I love the theme. I am a cat lover and what a nice little puzzle with such a nice little gift at the end. Wow. So now we can put it back. I think the only challenging part would be to put this bell back like this. Okay, yes. Now I just need to push a bit. And like this, everything is locked. I can put this wooden piece back like this. And now I just need to put the eyes and the ears inside where they belong. So this one with the pin and the hole goes here, like this. Now I need to put this one back inside. Oh, but how will I lock this part? Because it needs to be like this. Okay, so if I push it slowly, 
stays in place for a few seconds. So I need to act fast, I think. Okay, if I put it like this, maybe with gravity, it will work. Yes, it does. Okay, now it is locked once again. So I need to put this one back here. Yeah, like this. It goes back quite easily. And then it's this eye. Like this. Yes, like this. And now this one. So we just need to rotate the nose to be able to put it back. Okay, I need to do that, that, and that, and that, that, and that. Here it is, our Mitan puzzle back to its original condition. You revived, and I am so happy to see you cute once again. And we can say that we managed to solve the Mitan puzzle. I will see you next time for a new video. Tschüss!